we talked a little bit about sneaker sales in class. Business is actually a pretty complicated thing to run, but the very basics, you want to make sure that the price that you sell stuff at is higher than covers all your costs. Price minus cost equals profit. We're actually going to be dealing with percent changes in the business world. This is how it looks. If I buy something, my cost, original cost, and then resell it at a higher price, we call that markup. The difference between those two, we call that markup. If I want to know what is the percent that something got marked up, my bottom formula here, take that markup, which is resale price minus original cost, divide it by the original cost, multiply by 100, and I have my percent markup. Outside of the business world, looking at all of the rest of the universe, the general equation for percent of change, very similar. New minus original divided by original times 100 gives me a percent of change. Or a different way you could look at it, the amount that something's changed divided by its starting value times 100 will be a percent change. The actual mathematics that you do with this is not going to be too different from what we've been working with. It's just a new formula. You're going to look at problem situations, figure out which pieces of information you have, which one piece of information you still need, put the pieces of information you have into a formula, find the piece of information you need. Sample situation, Felicity got in line early to buy a limited edition pair of sneakers for $259. She knows she can resell them for at least $320. What's her expected percent markup or percent change? So, Felicity, trying to hustle somebody, we have an original cost for her. We have a new cost that she's going to sell stuff for. And I can put that stuff into my formula. My percent change formula says new minus old divided by old times 100 equals percent markup. I put L for old because if I put O, it looks like a zero, right? Inserting my numbers, we've got 320 minus. 259 divided by 259 times all that times 100 equals my percent markup. Okay, so you could run that through a calculator, get an answer. Twenty three and a half percent approximately. That's the markup. Sample situation number two. 12 years ago, Taj finished a marathon in 5 hours, 16 minutes. Now he's older and does not expect to run as fast. But he will be satisfied if this year's time is not more than a 20% increase from his old time. What should his time goal be? New time. Minus old time, divided by old time, multiply that by 100, will give me percent change. This one's easy to identify. All right, it's got my percent. This is the percent change that I'm looking not to be more than. So 20%. I know my old value. I don't know my new value yet. My old value is 5 hours, 16 minutes. I don't like dealing with mixed units, so I'm actually going to translate that all to minutes. There's 60 minutes in 1 hour, 300 minutes in 5 hours, so 316 minutes is the same as 5 hours, 16 minutes. New time, I don't know it yet, minus my old time, 316 minutes. Divided by my old time, all of that times 100, and I want it to be no more 
than a 20% increase. So less than or equal to 20% technically, but I'm cool if you just put an equal sign. You have yourself a nice little algebra problem to do. Done plenty of these already. You're gonna want to divide by 100 on both sides to get rid of a times 100. Do not, do not put a percent sign in your calculator. Uh, the dividing by 100 will take care of that. So 20 divided by 100, then you're going to want to multiply by 316 to get rid of a divide by 316 times 316. Then the only thing left will be to add a 316 to get rid of a subtract 316. So those will be my steps. Start with the 20, divide by 100, multiply by 316, add 316. Three seventy nine point two. I'm going to round that down because he doesn't want to go over. So I'm going to round it down to 379 minutes is what I want. This is my aim to be under 379 minutes. Okay, if I translate that back into hours and minutes, we have uh, 360 minutes would be six hours. And I would be left with 19 minutes. All right, so he wants to aim to have his time this year be no more than six hours, 19 minutes, and maybe a handful of seconds because of that point too. Long story short, you have a formula Identify what information you have from a problem. Input that information. Sometimes, if you're looking for the percent, it'll be nice and easy because you don't have to do algebra, just do the arithmetic. Sometimes it'll be a little harder because you are missing a piece in here.